Hi YouTube, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name's Michael and we're out for another overnight adventure. We have the Argo 6x6 with the Argo Super Tracks with us and we're probably traveling in about 18 inches of snow at the moment so it's pretty deep and it's snowing and it's going to continue snow until probably about midnight. Uh, Esme's also with me, she's just down there at the moment. So we put a poll up on the uh, community tab and we asked you what you'd like to see, which type of camping. So the options were a, I think it was an ice tent, hot tent, a snow trekker hot tent, a one tigress um, smoky hot tent, or a hammock hot tent, or something else. So it was pretty overwhelmingly for the hammock hot tent. So I've never done it before, I've always had the idea. So we're gonna actually give that a go and see if we can make it work. It's gonna be a bit janky probably, but you know what, it, it might turn out to be something useful. Unless you try it, you, you never really know. So we do have a slight upgrade with the Argo. I do have this windscreen now, because last time was just ridiculous. Uh, so this is just some plexiglass uh, that I've kind of bent at the top here and uh, epoxied this rail to it. Probably don't need the rail, I'm honest. Uh, but it's working pretty good. Uh, that will all get covered in ice. Uh, that's why I didn't do a full windshield, because there's no way to clear it. But it will deflect the majority of the, uh, the snow coming in. Uh, I think I'm going to rig up a cover at the moment, because we're just getting dumped on. And we've still got quite a ways to go. So, enough of the talking. I'm going to rig up the cover, and then we're going to get underway. And just one last thing before we get underway. We are about a thousand subscribers short of our 20,000 subscriber goal for the end of the year. And I know 82% of you that watch this video aren't subscribers. So consider subscribing, it really helps out the channel. And when we hit that 20,000 subscriber, I'll be doing a $200 gift card giveaway. So something to look forward to. Now we can really get on with the video. Hey, it's me. Does that look better? So we've just made a quick shelter, it's not ideal. I need to get on and make the cover, but I just haven't had the time. But I did manage to get the windscreen, which is a big help. And I think that cover will keep off the majority of the snow. So I think we'll be okay for today. Quick and easy. That's why I love carrying those big canvas tarps. That might feature in our camping later.
So we're hoping to uh, head up this trail. The snow is pretty deep. It's up to my my knees. Not sure it goes, but we seem to be making progress, but not super quick. I think that was a mistake, Esme. What do you see? What is it? Go seek. <laughs> she has such a good nose. Ah, so we'll plow on. So I found a few suitable spots already, but I just don't want to do a lot of shoveling. So what I'm looking for is easy wood and so I can actually get the hammock up and uh, get everything going. Had to cut this uh, tree just here just to get through, so we'll continue on. We can't see but this is like thigh deep in this little spot so apart from just making a mess what I've done is flattened down that area I'm going to use these two trees um, everything looks healthy it's pretty small trees so I think we'll be fine I also spotted a couple of smaller dead trees that I can use for firewood so I think this is a reasonable spot it's pretty hard going because the uh, snow is so deep. Um, but the great thing about a hammock is you're off the ground. So, oh. As you can see, oh, that's not too deep there, must have been in a hole. She's pretty deep. says we can walk around. So do you have my one tigress Esme blanket? with me today, that's going to come in useful. So this will be a nice spot for Esme to actually be able to sit and be warm.
Do you like your blanket? So I need to get some snow anchors next. So I need some branches. I'm starting to get a little warm, so I think it's time where I put it for a hat change. Bed made soon as me. Yeah, I think it's the last trip for these ninja gloves. They're kind of inside and the outside have separated. It's when your hands get wet. It's very difficult to get them on and off. They lasted a long time. I think I had these over a year. And I've done all sorts. Worked to my machines with them, some renovations. Love these. I think it's $16 Canadian. So I'm just doing a simple wrap so I can get these out tomorrow. So we have the tarp up now, we just need to get the hammock up. And then Esme will have a little place to uh, hang out off the snow. Because I don't think she's liking the snow right now.
So we have the hammock all set up. Kind of got it up for porch mode at the moment. So that we can get some light in. This is the forest that we're camping in. And it's pretty deep snow in there, much deeper than I thought it would be. We have the Argo covered up. Esme is all nice and warm. It's got all the snow off her fur. So this is the hammock. This is the ball bonnet El Dorado with the Superfly tarp and the Wookiee underquilt. So the temperature I think is going to go down to like minus 10 tonight, so it's not too much. My biggest concern is the amount of snowfall, uh, because this configuration won't actually work, because it, it will gather too much. So I'm going to have to probably raise one end and allow it to slide off the other. Oh, I'm just exhausted. That was a lot of work to get here. I'm just working in like deep snow uh, in the cold just burns calories but it's nice to have it all set up so let's talk about the hot tent part of the the setup i don't know if we're going to do it so my plan was uh to use the big green tarp and to extend out the canopy way out by another six feet and then to bring the canopy to the ground put my wood stove in there and have the heat kind of rise up and travel through the um, my superfly tarp but these trees we've set up are too close together and it was like the only decent place I could find that wasn't way inside the the bush where I couldn't actually get to without a lot of struggle so I might have to put that off till next time so sorry about that but we're still going to have some fun anyway uh, I think we're going to have the fire right in front. Um, that would be nice. But first of all, I think I'm just going to have a rest. Listen to a podcast for a minute. This be nice and comfortable now. Good girl. She's a bit wet, so that's not good. Need to dry her off. But the conditions are... It's very... Uh, wet snow it's heavy and uh, the Argo did do okay today but not as good as previous trips but that's okay we we made where we need to get to okay so we'll get on to the next job shortly which will be gathering firewood and setting up that little fire so we can uh, get something we can actually cook some food on and something nice to look at
It's kind of heavy. Oh, did you get a fire going this week?
So we got the fire started without too much drama. Uh, it's actually starting to take off now, so that's good. I'm going to feed in those large pieces because I can't be bothered cutting them. So I'll do like a little mini Siberian log fire. But yeah, that wood wasn't ideal. Um, but I just follow the same method that I always do. Is keep making those crisscross Jenga tower. And uh, I know a lot of people say don't put more wood on until the flames are beyond it. But I don't agree with that. As long as you give it lots of air. Like stacking them like this. Uh, the heat actually dries it out. And then once it takes off it's it's good to go. So each everyone has their own method. I find that works well for me. As you can see it's... Uh, it's doing quite well at the moment. Esme's just under here. She is. She's having a terrible time in the snow actually. It's uh, it's too deep for her. So yeah, just having to keep her kind of warm. Keep pulling the uh, snow off her legs and uh, uh, just around a kind of middle, uh, just clumps up because it's warm, the snow sticks to her, and uh, it's just terrible to get off. Not really sure how you can not have that. Um, her feet are, are fine, she's not having any problem. I use the mushes wax on the bottom of her feet so it doesn't stick, but obviously on her fur itself, that's a different matter. Uh, time is uh, just coming up to half past four, and uh, I think I'm getting ready to think about something to eat soon. It's nice to have the fire going. So what we have here is something I call the lazy man fire. And it doesn't take any effort really once you've cut a few of the branches. What I've done is taken the long branches, just laid them over the fire with maybe a couple of feet on this side. So what will happen is the fire will burn through them. And then I just pull more of the sticks in, flip the ones over that I've already got, and I will just continue to feed that all night. It takes no energy. One of the things I see quite often is people cutting lots of wood and doing lots of splitting. And one of the things with splitting wood, it's very good because it makes it burn quicker and brighter. But if you want a fire to last a long time, it's better to keep the wood in the round. It'll keep kicking out heat. For a lot longer if it's kept in the round. But it's doing pretty good. It's starting to get dark now. Esme's over in a in the hammock. She's had a supper and I've just had a bit of a snack. Uh, but yeah, it's been a great day actually. A lot of work. I don't know, this trip is just tucking me right out. Ah. So today is actually the winter solstice, so this is obviously the longest day and uh, summer is rapidly approaching. Um, but I do enjoy the winter, it's one of my favourite months. I think you can't really live in this environment unless you uh, enjoy snow, cold, also just drive you insane. Uh, I don't mind the spring, uh, autumn, winter are probably my favourites. Uh, summer is actually quite awful because of the uh, the bugs. but you can tolerate them, um, but it's it's probably not as idyllic. When you see all these wonderful pictures of, you know, the wilderness in Canada, uh, when you actually get down close and look at what you're actually getting into, it's normally a a, a bug fest. So it may look idyllic, but in reality, it's it's not in summer. It's actually quite quite a difficult place to survive. But we're having a lot of fun, 
Um, we do have a Olight flashlight to check out. It's the S2R Baton 2, I believe. I keep pronouncing that wrong. But we will be uh, looking at that once it gets a tad darker, I think. Um, so that's a review item that was sent out to me. I really started to like these old lights. Um, played around with them, watched some more reviews on them, and they do very well. Uh, the Baton, uh, sorry, the S2R is uh, quite a bit bigger. Actually, I'll just grab it. Where is it? So it's about double the length of the S1R. Now, this is a green model. Has very similar features. Uh, the charging base, which I actually love. Uh, and just the amount of light this puts out is insane. But uh, yeah, we'll be trying that out a little bit later on once it gets fully dark. Okay, I think it's actually dark enough to actually test this 2SR flashlight from Olight. So obviously you can't see anything. So I'm just going to put it on right now. I'm just going to cycle through the settings. So that's the the low setting why it's on. Uh, camera's having a few struggles to focus. Put it up a setting. And then that's the highest setting, but not the turbo mode, which is that. So that's the maximum output this flashlight will, will do. And it is just <laughs> amazing. So that's the three settings I'm just cycling through. So on the lower setting, it does last an extremely long time. I find the medium setting actually quite useful. Like, you can still see a long ways into the forest there. And obviously the high setting. Just awesome. So we've climbed in the hammock. I think it's probably time to call it a night. It's still quite early, but I am just bushed. Had a long week this week. Had a particular issue I had to deal with. So I was awake for like 40 hours straight, which is not good. So I need some catch up sleep. Esme's in the bottom of the sleep bag as usual, and she's pretty comfortable. I can feel her with my, uh, my feet. Got my little booties on. Um, I'm going to sleep in my jacket tonight. It's not going to be cold, um, but it should be a very pleasant night. So I wish you a good night and a happy winter solstice, and we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night for now. morning everyone we made it through the night uh, it was actually very pleasant not too cold at all um, it's about eight o'clock and it's still dark and we haven't got up yet so yeah very pleasant night we were nice and warm um, I found a little cold spot uh, just by my shoulder but it's probably because my under blanket isn't adjusted correctly but it was nothing that interrupted sleep anyway yeah, so it was good, very quiet. Still see the moons up, but sunrise should be coming in the next, I think, half an hour. So we'll have to get up pretty soon and uh, get my 
nice cup of black rifle coffee. favorite brand of coffee, the Black Rifle Coffee Company. Veteran owned and uh, veteran sponsored, so <clears throat> it's a really good thing if you actually buy this coffee. So unfortunately my other camera died. Uh, I do have two batteries and I can charge it through USB as well. That's why I like the uh, Sony AX33 or FDR AX33 I think it is uh, because it has a USB plug on the side and you can just plug it into battery bank. But I'll just switch over to my DJI action cam for the momentous coffee drink. Literally as good as ever. I'm going to go ahead and drink my coffee because that doesn't really make for an exciting video. And I think the next time you'll see me is we'll have the rest of the equipment in the machine. I'll dispose of the fire and make everything tidy and then we'll be on our way. So we're a bit stuck and there's like a big berm that's been ploughed into the, uh, the trailer there that is difficult to get over. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is actually go cross country, uh, which I have no idea what's out there. And I think there's a, an old well site that I can get to. So we'll see how we get on.
might be a bad idea. I think we'll try the berm again. What are the chances of that? Well, we're out. That was a little tricky. Well, we're all packed up, ready for home. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're not already a subscriber, then please consider subscribing. Help me get to that 20,000 before the end of the year. That would be a great Christmas present for Esme. And I'm sorry we didn't get to do the hot tent hammock, but we'll definitely be doing that next year. So until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.